So we finally have another Disney Plus MCU show with I Am Groot, a five-episode short film-esque style with the main character being, well, obviously, Groot. My anticipation for the show is just kind of like, eh, the trailers look fine, and the overall premise of a group of five, three to four minute shorts with Groot doing miscellaneous things, I said, it'll probably be fun and fine. So what I think about it, well, let's talk about it. I am Groot. So I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised with I Am Groot. Was this the best thing in the world? Was this the best MCU thing ever? No. But I gotta say, this is the most I've enjoyed a, the Disney Plus shows in a really long time that I have seen. And I have not yet seen all of Moon Knight or Miss Marvel yet. I will get to it eventually. But I Am Groot was just such a fun... It was so delightful. I think that's the best way to describe this show was just fun and delightful. Vin Diesel reprises his role as Groot, and he brings a lot of just energy to this performance. I know a lot of people say, why do they get Vin Diesel to just say a couple of words and pay him the millions upon millions of dollars that Vin Diesel most likely asks for, and I do get it, but I gotta say, I wouldn't want to see anybody else as this character. Vin Diesel does do a great job as this titular character. The animation and visuals are pretty spectacular. There's some pretty gorgeous shots in there. And each episode, each five five episode that's about three to four minutes long, are very fun and very creative. They do have very similar formulas. Groot discovers something, he finds something, he tries to do something with that thing, and it either goes well or really wrong. Spoilers, it mostly goes wrong. But it's a fun style, it's a fun, unique thing to tackle because Groot in this mini series is either a tree learning to walk or baby Groot from Guardians 2 he's still naive or and not really knowing that much of the world he has the menace and the velocity but nobody's scared of him like they were when he was big Groot so I just think it has a lot of charm to it the show also has a surprisingly dark sense of humor like there's this episode of Groot just completely tormenting these little slime alien creatures under a rock and it was pretty funny and in a dark sense of humor way which I did not expect a show that was is mainly aimed towards little kids and it's really main for oh your kids want to watch one more thing before they go to bed let's put on a three minute episode and watch Groot go on a little adventure you know that's what this show is and that's what the show's target demographic is for but I gotta say this show was again to use the word again it was just delightful it put a big smile on my face for all 25 minutes of the entire show it was funny it was captivating each episode was fun and interesting no this is not the best show in the world the show isn't truly fantastic but I will say it's funny it's exciting it's quite um, interesting and to be honest with you quite original this is one of the more original ideas the MCU has had making short films basically it was really well directed really well written even though there's no dialogue but the scenarios were really well thought of and I thoroughly enjoyed I am Groot and to be honest I never thought I would say this I really want to see more things like this in the MCU short fast simple ideas in the MCU and I think this would be a great thing for Disney Plus this is something that I think maybe what if season 2 should do more of. I feel like for What If Season 1, the episodes were just a bit too long. I think 10 to 15 minute episodes for What If, they could be stronger episodes because they're tighter. I feel like the episodes in What If dragged for a bit too long, but hey, that's besides the point. This was a really fun thing for the MCU, and I had an absolute blast with I Am Groot. And I'll give I Am Groot Season 1 a 7.5 out of 10. So those were my quick thoughts on I Am Groot. What do you think of this? Let me your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to like this video, check out my Instagram at daniel.movies, my Twitter at daniel.movies1, and my letterbox at superfilms. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, keep talking movies.